Hello, so in this tutorial we're going to, to go through the steps of buying your online model uh, and preparing it for using for augmented reality, in particular for our DP, DPR studio. So for example, let's go for TurboSquid, a really famous um, shop for 3D models. So let's go for something that a lot of people try to do on augmented reality apps. Let's search for a helmet. So in this case, it's for a tutorial. Let's go for the free ones. So you can see you find a lot of them. Um, let's go for this one. Because this one, uh, let's see if they have textures on it. Yes. Um, this is a good example because we can, we can go through the steps of animating it and trigger the animations on, on the DPR Studio. So let's go ahead and download it. Okay, so here it is. So first of all, let's open the folder and let's take a look at the files that we have. So uh, we have FBX file where our model is. Uh, we also have a lot of image files that they will be used for, for the texture. In this case, we're going to stick with the, with the color only um, because um, since it's for a, for a mobile app, um, we will not bother with all these uh, maps, with all this realism. Um, but of course, you can you can go for that. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's keep this simple. So uh, let's use the color one. First of all, you can see that the texture is huge. No need for such a big uh, texture um, to display on a mobile uh, on a mobile screen, um, and even if you if you prefer to keep a higher resolution, the final result will not be much different. So let's go ahead and uh, compress this. Uh, in Photoshop, we can simply reduce the Im the image size for something like five twelve. Let's make sure it's a square. If it isn't, let's fix that. Okay, you can see the resolution is 72, so it's good for um, for display. Since it's not for printing or anything like that, let's press OK and let's export this as a PNG file. Uh, the PNG is great for the compression that we, the kind of compression that we want. And in in this case, we don't have any transparency. But if we had, this would be a great format to to keep the the opacity to keep those informations under the file. So let's go ahead and, and export this. Now we have our, our, our texture file here and you, we can organize a little bit this file since we're not going to use any of this. We can just delete it or save it somewhere else in case we need to use some, some normal maps or something. Um, so in this case, I, I usually prefer to keep it as simple as possible and as light to the processor as possible. Uh, and, and texture files, uh, they are always heavy in terms of processing. Um, so yeah, let's let's try to, to keep things organized from the beginning. Let's change this the, the name of this for something more like this. Um, and now we, we can open Maya. Now we can simply drop our FBX file into the um, into the scene, and here we can see um, some some artifacts already. Um, but it's something that we're going to deal with. Um, as as we can see, the this model is pretty low poly, um, so we want to take care of that too. We want to make this a bit more smooth and with, with better uh, contours. So uh, let's try to, the first step would be to organize this. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the outliner. So as you can see, we have, we have, some, we have some groups here, um, some meshes on top of the others. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and, and clean this. So first step, I would say, um, it would be to, to, to separate all of this so we're, we're having an error because of these groups so let's let's make all of them at the same hierarchy level yeah, okay so let's remove history and now let's go and separate okay we have to go one um, one at a time so yeah if I press G I just repeat the last comment so separate separate 
separate so I think it's already everything is in the, is separated so if it if it's not we can separate them later so yeah let's try to now we we can delete history again okay and from here we're going to build our own hierarchy with our own names uh, let's remove this let's bring this out of the of the groups okay so this would be our main our main part um, okay this is our right here so up here right left here this is going to be the shin part one exactly chin part two mm -hmm. and this I believe this will follow this part maybe not maybe this goes up okay so okay here we can see that the eyes are not separated but it's okay so this is like the visor this is the front part maybe the, let's call this the top part and call this the front part Oop. and this I'm not sure what this is so maybe Let's bring the textures so we can have a better look and a better understanding of the model. So let's go here. Let's find our texture. So download here. Let's import this. Let's press six so we can see the texture. Okay. It's very shiny. So we want to make sure we crank this a little bit down. This too. Let's remove this connection. Okay. A bit. okay, it looks a bit better now. So yeah, now I can see that this is just like a connection part. Maybe it's like a visor part. Yeah, it's just a connection part. So let let's just call this. Uh, I don't know. Um, inner part one, inner part. Yeah. So yeah, everything is looks better now, and it's it's organized. Um, if we want, we can move this uh, so it makes more sense. Like main part, then it's the top part, then it's the front part, yeah, then it's the visor. Ears, chin, inner part. Yeah, it looks good now. Uh, and we can go from here, and we can create a group, common G, and we can call this helmet. So yeah, okay. So now, uh, as we can see, the model is a bit rough, especially if if, if you select everything and press one to make sure it's not on smooth mode. It's on. A, it, it's only showing what the model actually is. So if I select everything, now I'll just duplicate and set it to the side and I'll press 3. Okay, I can see that I prefer the smoothing, so let's go and smooth this. So first step would be to select everything. And I'm going to clean up, reset settings, apply. So I want to make sure that the, the mesh is clean. Now I'm going to select everything again and now I'll press smooth. And yeah, as you can see now it looks way better than before. So this is a big improvement. Uh, let's say that we want to have a little bit of texture, a little bit of bump. Um, we can use the, the file that we that, that was included on the package, the, the normal map one, but I, I found that for most cases we can still use the same um, file that we're using now, the, the color file, uh, as long as we keep it low. So, yeah, you can see this is too much, so we can go here, 
we can just set this for a really low value so yeah now as you can see you can you we, we do have a little bit of texture and you can see the light is changing it so if we really want this we can we can use this let's let's select all these parts we want to make sure we delete history uh, because if you can see here there was some some notes here because we did a smooth operation and it will it will always be saved here so we, we want to make sure before we go ahead to delete history so this this kind of notes go away um, and we want to make sure to freeze transformations reset transformations clean history again okay uh, and we will make sure that the uh, will so this is basically clean it's already ready to use so uh, now we're going to take care of the rig because we're going to animate this 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 element so let's let's try to understand which part are going to moving independently and let's try to to create groups because in this case since it's a rigid uh, kind of thing it's a rigid uh, uh, model uh, no need for 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 joints or for um, for skin uh, for, for skinning weights because it's it's not going to bend or to stretch we're going to take cover of that in a in another tutorial but for now let's let's go and and, and create a simple rig so I would go for um, a side view, so, and from here, and from here, I will select, I think this. Yep. Okay, this is part of this. So yeah, I'm going to change the pivot point. I'm going to press D. Yep, and I'm going to move this where the inch would be, something like. Here. Here, let's test this. Let's rotate it. Ooh, ooh, nope. I totally forgot. I was moving all the parts. Uh, so first of all, we need to create a group. So common G with these three parts selected. Yep. And now I'm going to call this main lead. Something like this. Let's move it here. Okay. Now I'm going to press D. I'm going to move the pivot point here. Okay, let's make this a bit higher. Okay, now it looks good. Okay, now I, I, I want to have some follow-through animation. So maybe I'm going to let's let's take a look at this. I'm going to make this move a little different. So maybe this is part of this. So maybe only this is moving. Uh, I, think I prefer if this both move. Doesn't matter. I'm not really sure if the Iron Man helmet it opens like this. It's not. It's not really important here. We just want to to use this as an example, and we're going to animate it as we want. So you feel free to to do the rig that you want. Um, okay. So I'm going to place a hinge here. Oh, again, I forgot to. Yeah. First of all, let's create a group. Call this like secondary lid. Now we're going to place the pivot point where I think this should open Great. something like this just to make like a small animation like a small follow through this is not going to be really important because this will move this will be moving as a whole okay and now I'm going to take care of this part so yeah, I'm not sure if this part will be moving. Uh -uh. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave this part. So I'm going to select this this parts. Common G. Let's call this chin lid. Now back to the uh, side view. Press D. And with the middle mouse of the with the middle button of the mouse, I'm going to change the location of this to where I think the inch would be. Um, maybe here. Let's see. Okay. I think it looks good. Let me see. Okay. So yeah, I'm not really sure if this should be part of the. We can we can just try it. We can just go here and with the middle mouse with the middle button let's drop this here 
and we can test it now. No, I, I prefer like it was before. Okay, so now let's make sure that all our groups are zeroed out. Let's close this. Zero. Oops. Zero. And zero. Okay. Also, a very important thing to keep in mind is to keep the, the shaders organized. Um, in this case, it's pretty straightforward since we only we only have one uh, one shader and one texture file that uh, assembles to all the pieces of this uh, of this model. Uh, let's just reload this. So we want to make sure that we give we give a proper name to to our shader. Uh, in this case, it's only one. But in in the case that you have a more complex uh, scene with a lot of different materials and different uh, textures, make sure you give th those proper names and you keep things organized. And you want to make sure you take a look at the hyper shade if necessary to see if everything is organized and you don't want any unnecessary or duplicated uh, shaders there. So now this is clean and ready and ready to go. Um, okay, now we're going to to use the um, the dense mesh as a reference, as a three D world space reference, so we know where we should place the um, the, the the element. So the dense mesh is here. Let's drop it here. And now I suspect, yeah, that the scale is really different. So let's go here. And let's try to fit the helmet using the head. So as you already know. We should rotate this 25 degrees in order to 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 to, to fit the, the the right position of the of the actual face when we're doing the tracking. And now let's go for a side view, maybe press four so we can see the um, the wireframe. Let's try to adjust this. Of course, we we, we we can do any kind of deformation. I think it's really it looks stretched right now, so let's. Try to fix a little bit of that. Maybe I will want to rotate this a little bit. I want to make sure the eyes match the actual eyes. So that okay, something like this. Now I can move it forward. The nose, the mouth. So this might be a bit smaller. Up. So the sheen. Okay. Feel free to to fit it as good as you want. Uh, let's go for the front view, take a better look at this. Okay. Okay, I think it's good. Maybe a bit smaller. Let's go for the perspective view. I think it's too big because both eyes should be should have its own visor. So let's go ahead and scale this down a little bit more. Let's just change. Okay. If, I'm ch if I change the pivot point, I can scale this in a way that works better for me. Uh, maybe a bit more like this. Okay. 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 So now I think it fits better. Maybe a bit more. Okay. Once once we're happy with the um, with the actual location of the of the element, yeah, I think it looks good. So we can go ahead since we only changed the 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 main group. Um, Location, we can go here and freeze transformation, reset transformation, and delete history. Yeah, so now it's ready to go.